for all of it. The New Times. All right, Ezekiel is the first one because every time I open up the Bible, about four or five months ago, it always turned into Ezekiel. So I read it, and then I read it again, and I read it again. I read it three times, my favorite book. All right, the book of Ezekiel describes uh, the day of the Lord, you know, Babylon, a long time ago. But then it describes New Babylon and the Millennial Kingdom. It is about the day of the Lord and what Ezekiel saw during that day. Remember, when you read the Bible, you have to read it then and now. Now and then. Then and now, else you will not understand it. And you need to read it out loud to yourselves as a man named Steve Gibson, a bond servant of Jesus's. He's a very wise man. Told me to read it out loud, so I did. And uh, and at, and pray to to Jesus and the Lord and say, Dear Lord and Jesus, anoint my eyes, anoint my ears, while I read this to myself with remembrance. Try it and then read it. But you need to read it then and now, then, now and then. All right, Ezekiel describes what he saw. All right. Remember, it's like 1000 BC or 800 BC. All right. Okay. All right. It's about the day of the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against your magic bands, by which you hunt lives there as birds, and I will tear them off your arms. Hmm, sounds like a cell phone. On your arm, that's what they're trying to do now. Remember, the Apple, the Apple Watch. What would you call a, a cell phone, when, you know, in 800 BC? <laughs> you call it a magic band or a writing case or something. All right. Remember, the Apple that's on the cell phone, it has a bite out of it. Remember, in the garden, they took a bite out of the Apple. Gosh, I am against your magic bands by which you hunt lives there as with birds, with GPS. And I will tear them off your arms, and I will let them go. Let the people go. Even those lives who you hunt as birds. Remember, Ezekiel's talking about the evil people. I will also tear off your veils. Hmm, they were veiled. And deliver my people from your hands, and they will no longer be in your hands to be hunted, and you will know that I am the Lord. They're talking about the evil people that try to control the world. Because you because you disheartened the righteous with falsehood, when I did not cause him grief, but has encouraged the wicked not to turn from the, his wicked and preserve his wicked way and preserve his life. Therefore, you women will no longer see false visions or practice divination and i will deliver my people out of your hands thus you will know that i am the lord remember okay and the talks about the millennial kingdom talks about tv on tvs on here and idolisms remember we are idolizing people again they're called movie stars never heard of the of a american idol american idol Remember, what does God hate the most? People that don't worship Him. He called them idolaters. Idolaters. idolizers. <laughs> we put pictures of Kim Kardashian all over our walls. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, people. Remember, there's nothing wrong with watching movies and thinking that people movie stars are cool or whatever, but don't idolize them and put... Hundreds of people are running after him. <laughs> Sick. All right. Okay. Be all right. Remember, and it talks about the harlot. That is the princess that caught a harlot is a whore with green eyes. Hmm. Hillary Clinton has green eyes. She is, and then I would call her a princess. Because remember, she's a president. 
She's not a king, so they described her as a princess. The harlot. The harlot is the one. The harlot in, in this, it talks about her giving up the military and dividing the nation in half. And when she talks to the people, she puts her hand behind her back and goes like this. She crosses her fingers. She says it. All right. Remember, do not vote for Hillary. She'll probably win anyway. Unless this book is wrong. Alright. But then it also talks about a king too. Alright. Or not king, a prince. He was Tyree and the Pharaoh. Hmm, Obama looks like a Pharaoh. Alright. Okay. Alright. The, idol the idolizers, the elders. Son of man, these men have set up their idols in their hearts and have put right before their faces the stumbling block. Their inequity. Should I be... Should I be consulted by them at all? There, <laughs> there's a stumbling, dude. There's nothing wrong with movie stars, but don't follow them and chase after Kim Kardashians. Those girls are ugly, dude. What's wrong with people? <laughs> I like little five foot four girls, five foot five, five foot six. Not girls that you know. Not those for me. Look at the dad. Sad. Became a woman, dude. A woman. <laughs> oh my gosh. The day of the Lord draws near and you guys do not see it. Man, you, you guys better change. Therefore speak to them and tell them, Thus says the Lord God, Any man of the house of Israel who sets up his idols in his heart puts right before his face the stumbling block of his inequity. Inequity means wickedness, perversion. And and then comes to the prophet. And I, the Lord, will be brought to give him an answer in the matter to view of the multitudes of his idols. In order to lay hold the heart of the house of Israel who are estranged from me through all their idols. You have fell away from the Lord and you care about your American idols. Hello, anybody out there? Whoever has an ear, let him hear. Therefore, say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, Repent and turn away. Hmm, repent. Wow, this book's way older then. <laughs> repent and turn away from your idols and turn your faces away from all your abominations, dude. For anyone of the house of Israel or, or of the immigrants who stay in Israel, mm, immigrants that stay in Israel who... Remember, Israel, there's a new Israel and there's an old Israel. There's a new Babylon and there's an old Babylon. Remember, okay, Statue of Liberty. She is just dressed. She has her clothes on. It's a Babylonian statue. She's, sit, she's standing on a freaking pyramid, dude, with a torch. It's the same thing. But she's not naked. In the old one, she was naked. She's just dressed. Who do we get Statue of Liberty from? We got it from the French. Where did the Illuminati come from? France. Where did where where's where did sodomy come from the most at first? France. <laughs> I hate French. It's called Brian James's toast. The Bright Lions toast. French. Alright. And I shall set my face against that man. And make him a sign and a proverb. And I shall cut him off from among my people. So you will know that I am a Lord. I am the Lord. Remember the Lord talks through people through the Bible. But if the prophet is prevailed upon to speak a word. It is I the Lord who have prevailed upon the prophet. The Lord speaks through the prophet. And I will stretch out my hand against him. And destroy him from among my people. And they will bear punishment of their inequity. And the inequity of the in inquirer is so the inequity of the prophet will be. God hates inequity. It's the main word in the Bible. In order that the house of Israel may no longer stray from me. And no longer defile themselves with all their transgressions. Thus they will be. Be my people again, and I shall be their God, declares the Lord. He'll come back to you. Remember, we go two ways. Repentance, or the day of the Lord. 
Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, if a country sins against me, against me by committing unfaithfulness, and I stretch out my hand against it, destroys it, destroys its supply of bread, send famine against it, and cut off from both the man and beast. If I were to cause the wild beasts to pass through the land, and they depopulated it, and it became desolate, so that no no one would pass through it because of the beast. Remember, they're talking about splitting up the nation. Half and half. In this book. The harlot. She lets it happen. Alright. Alright. Talking about the prophets. Thus these three men were in its midst, and I live, declares the Lord God. They would not deliver either sons or daughters. They alone will be delivered, but the country would be desolate. Or if I should bring a sword on the country, and say, let the sword pass through the country, and cut off uh, the man from the beast. Remember, the man and the beast. Satan is the beast. The dog. Even thus three men were in the midst, and I live, declares the Lord God. They would not deliver either their sons or daughters, but they alone will be delivered. Or if I should send a plague against that country, and pour out my wrath and blood on it, and cut off man and devil from it, even though Noah and Daniel and Job in the midst, I shall live, declares the Lord God. And they could not deliver either their sons or their daughters, they would deliver only themselves. Look at talk about Noah, Daniel, and Job. The Son of Man. And the two witnesses. There will be three of them. <laughs> Remember, there's the Son of Man. And then there's Jesus Christ that comes in the day of the Lord. The Son of Man is not Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Lord. He comes in the day of the Lord. Remember. Whoa. But he, he was son of man when he lived on the earth. Yes, he was. Jesus Christ was son of man when he lived on the earth. But now he's the Lord, with the Lord. All right. Talks about their idols on their walls. And he said to me, son of man, do you see what the elders of the house of Israel are committing in the dark? Each man in the room of his carved images. Carved Im images are like posters, TVs, it's 3D. For they say the Lord does not see us. The Lord has forsaken the land. People think that the Lord doesn't see you. They see every He sees everything that you're doing. You are on camera through your eyes. And he said to me, yet you s will see greater abominations what they are committing. Then he brought me to the entrance of the gate of the Lord's house, which was, which was toward the north. Toward the north. Hmm. And behold, women were sitting there weeping for Tamaz. Who is Tamaz? He is a, a demon. They weep for Tamaz and not the Lord. And he said to me, Do you see this, son of man? Yet you will see greater abominations than these. All right. This is the craziest part here. The visions of Ezekiel. Then he cried out in my hearing with a loud voice saying, Draw near, O executions of the city, each... Each with his destroying weapon in his hand. Destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the directions of the upper gate, which faces north, each with his shattering weapons. Wow. Hmm. In his hand. And among them was a certain man clothed in linen, with a writing case at his loins. Yeah, that sounds like a cell phone or a laptop. And they went in and stood beside the bronze altar. Then the then the glory of the God of Israel went up from the shrub, shrubs are angels, and which had been the threshold of the temple. The man clothed in linen at whose loins was the writing case. And the Lord said to him, Go through the midst of the city, even through the midst of Jerusalem, and put a mark on the foreheads of the men who sigh and groan over the abominations which are being committed in the midst. It's the Holy Spirit mark on their foreheads, a round circle. Called the day of the Lord. 